I think it's safe to say that I've never taken a shot like this before. And if you're a longtime weekly 50 reader slash viewer, I don't think you've ever seen a shot like this on my blog before. I'm sure you've seen shots like this, but not here on weekly 50. This is totally different than any other photo I've ever taken in my life. And I'm not exaggerating with that. This is a three hour exposure, sort of. It, it's a combination of photos taken over a three hour time span. And I'll give you one guess as to the camera I use. Like this is star trails, right? So you can see stars in the background circling around the, and th these, um, the North star, the, the Polaris, the North star is on the top right hand portion of the frame. And you can see these rings of stars circling around it. You've got these, this lit, uh, tree on the left-hand side that's lit by the moon. You've got this lake shore. If you're an eagle-eyed viewer, you might see some similarities between this and other photos I've posted from kind of the exact same location over the years, but nothing like this. So I'll, uh, I was going to say like, I'll give you a nickel, but I'm not going to give you any money, <laughs> but I'll give you three guesses as to the fancy, expensive, cutting-edge camera with which I shot this photo. And I'll give you a hint, it was not my mobile phone. Any guesses? Okay, I shot this with a GoPro. That's right, a humble little GoPro camera. You know those action cameras that you use for capturing extreme stunts and stuff like that? I got one recently, and I'm having a ton of fun with it because of the photo settings. I had no idea when I bought that GoPro, which I bought for my kids to play with on vacation. I had no idea that it could do stuff like this. I kind of maybe read a little bit about it, like just kind of in passing, but I did not know it could do this. So this is Acorns Resort. This is Milford Lake, Kansas. I've taken many photos here and posted them on the blog over the years, uh, often at sunset. But this time, I, I I put my GoPro on a tripod and I set it down and it has a, a mode called Star Trails. And that's literally all I did. This is auto everything in the Star Trails mode. What I did have to do was angle it and point it and think about what kind of a shot I wanted to get and how I was going to get that. I didn't really, I, I just pointed it up at the sky and it was dark. I mean, it was pitch black when I took this photo. So I couldn't even see where I was pointing it really. And I came back the next morning, the battery had died on the camera because it, it basically just goes until it dies. And then the camera, what it does is it takes a whole bunch of 30 second exposures and then combines them by itself when it's all said and done. And you end up with this shot here. And I was just absolutely stunned. I, I had never seen anything like this from a camera that I owned before. And I, I mean, I, I, it was just like flabbergasted. Um, I also saw them thing saw some things to improve. Like in the top right hand corner, you see the this um, uh, angled portion. That's actually the roof of the cabin that we were staying at. I don't like how the trees are covering up so much of the frame. There's a lot of things to fix in this photo, but there's a lot that I really, really, really like. And it, this was one of the coolest photos that I can recall taking in a while. So. Um, I don't know it, it was really fun. If you have a, a GoPro, uh, check out the Star Trails mode. It's pretty cool.